Hätten die Verbrennung der Amerika. What is up, my beautiful mates of YouTube? My name is Ozzy Marcel, and in today's video, I'm going to be recommending three fragrances, three humble fragrances, that can be worn by either a man or a woman comfortably. But before I get into that, I'm going to read a poem out of Wilderness, The Lost Writings of Jim Morrison. Men who go out on ships to escape sin and the mire of cities watch the placenta of evening stars from the deck on their backs and cross the equator and perform rituals to exhume the dead. Dangerous initiations to mark passage to new levels, to feel on the verge of an exorcism, a rite of passage, to wait or seek manhood, enlightenment in a gun, to kill childhood innocence in an instant. Jim Morrison, beautifully talented but beautifully flawed as well. Some of those flaws not so beautiful. So in the fragrances that I'm going to be talking about today, not all of them are men's scents, but I believe all of these are in fact unisex fragrances and can be comfortably worn by anyone. Starting things off with Katy Perry's Indie. Yes, I know this is going to be a controversial pick, but it's incredibly cheap and what you get for the price is simply stunning. This cost me $9.99 at Chemist Warehouse and for the money you get a fragrance that smells like it could have cost well over $100. I've shown this to a few people now. I've got them to guess the price and each of them have said over $100. This is only $10 at Chemist Warehouse. It's a musk bomb, it's unisex, it's got a creaminess as well. It is a humble scent in that because it only costs $10 on sale at Chemist Warehouse and because to my nose it smells quite unisex, it's very unassuming. It's a delicate fragrance, but there is a power here because of the musks. For $10 Australian, it gets an easy recommendation. Wear it during the day, wear it at night, put it on your clothes if you want better performance. It gets about six to seven hours of performance on my skin, but on clothes that extends to over 12 hours. If you're a woman, you may already own this, but if you're a man, I highly suggest checking this one out. Don't let the Katy Perry branding fool you. Also, if you want a um, slightly more coconut version of this with a similar level of musk, but not quite as musky, um, try Katy Perry's Indivisible. Or is it Indivisible? One of the two. The next fragrance I'm going to be recommending is Versace Pour Homme. This is a bright, soft, humble fragrance with a luxury sort of branding. What I love about Versace Pour Homme is that even though it's marketed towards men, a woman could wear this very comfortably. It's bright, it has citrus, some gentle woody notes in there, and it's also quite floral as well. I get mandarin, I get orange, I get rose and rose petals. It's just such a, a delicate fragrance. Even though it's the most expensive one on the list, you can pick up 100 ml for under $70 at Chemist Warehouse. And I do believe that the 50 ml bottle is $49.99, so $50. So I would still refer to that as being a humbly priced fragrance. Um, $50 is relatively affordable, but if you don't have $50 to spend on a fragrance, I completely understand. And my recommendation in that regard would be Katy Perry's Indie. Performance for Versace Pour Homme is decent at about five to six hours. If you want a little bit more performance, wear it on your clothes or a couple more sprays. It's not a very strong fragrance, so you can get away with wearing a couple extra sprays. And lastly, CK Everyone Eau de Parfum. Similar to Versace Pour Homme, this is a very humble fragrance. It's soft, bright, has some really enjoyable floral notes, but this is a little greener, a little more aromatic than Versace Pour Homme. Calvin Klein are just a truly underrated brand, and you can pick this one up for under $60 at Chemist Warehouse here in Australia. I've seen my local Chemist Warehouse sell these for $40 for the 100ml, yeah the 100ml. Performance is generally better than a lot of other Calvin Klein fragrances, being in Eau de Parfum. And I will 
a little spray. Just as a little explainer and perhaps providing some clarity to those who may not necessarily understand, a humble fragrance in my opinion is one that you can wear that doesn't blast out a room. You're going to be wearing something that is on the softer side, is more gentle. These humble unisex fragrances can be worn by absolutely anyone and in pretty much any situation. That's why it's easy to recommend like a creamy musky fragrance or a bright soft floral fragrance. These are fragrances that you can wear in virtually any situation, any season, and not be offensive, not make yourself too known unless you're discovered wearing the fragrance. So yeah, if you've ever worn any of these fragrances before, let me know in the comments below. And if you've got your own recommendations for a more humble scent, also let me know in the comments below. And until the next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel, and I'll catch you guys around.